In today's modern world, our dependence on electricity is indeed inevitable. For Indonesia, the demand for electricity is quite significant. According to 2021 data, Indonesia produced about 73.74 gigawatts of electricity annually. In comparison, China's capacity for electricity generation is enormous, reaching around 2,200 gigawatts per year. This figure is expected to increase with the ongoing construction of hydroelectric power dams, such as the Baihitan Dam, poised to become one of the world's largest electricity generating dams. The Baihatan Dam, the world's largest, has been a long-planned project by the Chinese government. Announced during the 18th Congress of the Chinese government in 2012, the dam's construction is a significant investment, costing around 34 billion USD. The primary goal of the Baihitan Dam is to maximize China's natural potential. It is being constructed on the Jinsha River in Yunnan Province, a strategic location due to the river's total length of 2,290 kilometers and its sufficient water flow to meet the Baihitan Dam's capacity. The dam's specifications are indeed phenomenal, with a length of 72 meters and a height of 289 meters. Approximately 275 meters of the dam's height will be filled with water, holding about 20.6 billion cubic meters. With this capacity, the Baihitan Dam is expected to generate around 60.24 billion kbuh of electricity annually. The construction of such a colossal dam begins with complex excavation processes involving several stages. The first step is creating diversion tunnels for the river flow, allowing the dam construction area to be free of water and facilitating smoother work. These tunnels are often created using explosives to ease the process, continuing until the tunnel reaches its endpoint. This ambitious project reflects China's significant investment in infrastructure and renewable energy sources, contributing to its growing status as a global power in energy production. To strengthen the tunnel, every inch of the structure is reinforced with concrete, ensuring it can withstand the water flow from the Jinsha River. After diverting the river flow through the tunnel, the dam construction continues. Excavation is performed on the sides of the dam and precision is crucial, especially since explosives are used. Any mistake in this process can have severe consequences. This erosion process continues until all the weathered rock layers are removed and the debris is cleared using heavy machinery. Once the two-phase excavation is complete, construction of the dam begins. The first task is building the foundation, which involves setting up the frame and pouring concrete. Large projects like the Baihetan Dam typically use low heat concrete, which is denser, minimizing the risk of leakage due to small cracks. The use of low heat concrete is a significant advancement in construction, especially crucial for massive structures like dams, where even minor cracks can lead to catastrophic consequences. Once the foundation is set, the main structure of the dam is built. To ensure a strong bond between the concrete dam and the land, slight inclinations are made on both sides of the riverbank. These inclines serve as grips for the main structure, enabling it to withstand the water flow effectively. Once these grips are established, the dam's construction can proceed safely. For a colossal project like the Baihitan Dam, the construction process involves filling in calculated blocks one by one. This method may seem tedious, but is the most effective as it allows each block time to dry and set properly. Constructing the dam all at once would make the concrete more prone to heat absorption and cracking, which is undesirable. From this intricate construction process, it's evident that a project like the Baihitan Dam requires highly skilled contractors and meticulous planning. Any compromise in quality or expertise could lead to disastrous outcomes, emphasizing the importance of precision and expertise in such large-scale infrastructure projects. The installation of turbines is a crucial phase in the Baihetan Dam's construction. 
Complex piping systems are integrated into the dam's structure, serving various functions, with the most important being to channel water into the turbine machines that generate electricity. In this dam, turbines are installed in parallel to utilize a single water flow path. The vigorous flow from the Jinsha River makes this single track utilization feasible. Notably, China has developed its turbines setting a new standard for their dam projects. These turbines are reportedly more efficient in generating electricity than those used in America. The Baihetan Dam houses 16 turbines, each capable of producing up to 1 gigawatt of electricity. With the turbines installed, the Baihetan Dam construction, from planning to finishing, is completed. The project took approximately five years, from 2012 to 2017. In 2021, after COVID-19 restrictions eased, the connecting tunnel to Baihetan was closed to fill the dam with water, and by May 2021, two turbines were operational. However, like many large dam projects, the Baihetan Dam has faced environmental concerns. Environmentalists in China have criticized the government for proceeding with the project, pointing out potential issues like flooding, damage to farmland, and threats to the aquatic life and other species in the Jinsha River. In response, the Chinese government has justified the project as part of a plan to reduce reliance on coal, which has become increasingly expensive and environmentally damaging. This situation raises a dilemma. Building dams can harm the environment, but so can the continued use of coal. Finding a balance between energy needs and environmental protection is a complex challenge that continues to provoke debate. The public's input and perspectives in the comments section can offer diverse viewpoints on this critical issue. That's all for today and see you in the next video.